And keeping up with the recent fuel review, Ibilis Ibisil Town, I beg your pardon, motorists and border border riders are crying foul for what they have termed as exorbitant petrol prices. The price of the commodity is retailing at 250 shillings per litre with the number of petrol stations lacking the important commodity. Kenyans are already feeling the pinch from hiked fuel prices to scarcity of the commodity. <laughs> Most petrol stations in the busy Elbisil town along Namanga Road have run out of stock with the little petrol available, retailing at 250 shillings per litre. <laughs> Motorists and border border riders have been scrambling for petrol, with some carrying it using jerrycans. <laughs> when we conducted a spot check, consumers were not allowed to buy more than 10 litres to allow the attendants to have more people. A similar situation was replicated at Mailitisa and Katatoek towns along Namanga Road. Being a major livestock market day, most people spent the night in the town as most pickups and motorcycles which usually ferry them to their respective homes ran out of gas. <laughs> In Kiambu County, Matatu owners plying the thicker route to various parts of central Kenya have announced fair hike by 30%. Mount Kenya Matatu Owners Association Chairman Mike Kariuki said the increase was necessitated by the latest increase in fuel prices, which has seen operators making losses. The buses you charge between 80 and 100 shillings with immediate effect, and the, for the, 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 the we call them nuisance, but the, 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 small, the small ones you charge 130. Nairobi to Vika. Because if you consider that a vehicle that consumes 60 liters to 65 liters with an increment of 25 shillings, then we are going at a loss of more than 1,000 shillings, 1,700 shillings. And that's basically the reason as to why we've agreed to adjust our fares mm -hmm. upward with just a very small margin. I request our passengers countrywide to bear with us during this difficult time because it's not only touching on uh, Thika or Nairobi or Mount Kenya region but the entire country. Nancy Okwari, Lunchtime News.